Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're on another exploration mission to find uh, more spots to truck camp. And these couple of spots um, apparently are pretty big. One of them is pretty big that you could have a group camp. So I'm gonna go check it out and see what I can see when I get there. I'm about 24 minutes away, so I'll update you as when I get closer. Okay, so this is not the spot I was looking for. This is on the way to the spot I was looking for. It used to have a gate right here. Uh, there is no gate right now, but it's basically a large parking lot. I'm wondering, it doesn't say it's a trailhead, but it is pretty developed. But it also has down here, it does have a gate farther down, and it has a trail. So I'm wondering if this is part of the Nebo Trail. I'll have to check on the map. It might be, but it also has a nice creek next to it. Seasonal creek, it's a little dry right now. Dang. So I say this is big enough for about two to three rigs. And up in this area, you could probably do some hammock camping. And it's pretty flat. So this is the first spot I have found today. Good canopy coverage. I like it. So I'm going to mark it on the map. And it's just absolutely beautiful, too. Here is another place. I do not know where this leads, but we're gonna follow it back here. Oh, there's a car back there. Okay. I think I'll go much farther then. This is a nice little spot. Oh yeah. Nice little fire ring. Nice place to dump a body. Okay. forest road right there it also has a trail nice clearing yeah if this car wasn't here I'd get the drone up in the air but we'll mark this one on the map all right here's another one and another one this might be the best one yet. Wow. It's a nice clearing area over here to the left. But if you keep driving. Oh yeah. Okay. Probably enough for two vehicles here. Let's walk around a little bit. We'll get the drone up from here maybe. Look at that giant fire pit. Let's 
also down here there's a trail off of it or forest road probably or fire road I should say not fire. yeah probably about two vehicles should also mention that through the woods over there there's a small pond so that's cool now you are right off the road but that's okay we're learning to live with that so actually there's two sites here where I am right here and then this spot right here. So you could have probably a total of five vehicles if you if you lined them up right. And then make you know this area over here like a central area to, to gather. Like it. Yeah, see here, you can hear the road noise. That sucks. I'll go down here for just a second because I want to see if I can see the pond from here. Yep. until it rained last night. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Very cool. Very stagnant, but very cool. Okay, found another spot. This is good for about one vehicle, a smaller vehicle than mine. It's a pain in the ass to get in and out of. But, and it's right off the road, but down over here, you have a lot of good tent sites. Which is kind of cool. And it's next to another pond. So you got a pond right there. But I recommend this one for a smaller vehicle than mine <laughs> because it's just, it's hard to get in and out of for me. All right, we are now on our way to a place called Sundance Lake. Uh, it's a place a friend of mine told me about. And we're gonna try to see if we can find some spots around that lake. Apparently it's beautiful. So we're about 16 minutes away and I will update you when we get there. Okay, so we're almost to Sundance Lake. And this is really remote. And that makes me happy. Hope I don't drive actually into the lake. Oh, there's somebody here. Okay.
think the last place of the day we're going to head is towards a few campsites that are close to this lake that I just droned. Down some rough road. But that's why you have a truck. Okay, I didn't even get a little bit of the way down the road there. When I came across this site, this is awesome. Although it's kind of trashed and it's right off the road here. But look at these, look at this fire pit, man. Oh, man, come on. This pisses me off though. So it's got a nice fire pit right there. It's got an old one there. It looks like there's a trail that goes into the woods there. I mean, it looks like a turnaround, but there's another trail there. And you could park back there even. Years under some pines. Yeah, this is awesome. <clears throat> um, all right, I'm going to mark this one on my map, but obviously it's popular because people suck and they can't throw their crap away. I mean, You've even got graffiti on this sitting log here. I'm talking to you, Terra Fowler. All right, we'll mark it. So, my friend said this road is rough. I guess it's not too bad I could get through that but if there was if the water was running it might be a lot worse but I think I can get through that looks steeper than it than it appears on camera all right just in case I put it in four-wheel drive probably don't really need to but and I think I've got the clearance clearance here we go. Nice and smooth. Okay, we got about two tenths of a mile before this road dead ends. My friend said that this road dead ends, it backs up to private property. So we shall see. But I think there's a lake out here or a pond, another pond. And hopefully there's a way to turn around. Yeah, I guess that is private property. This does not give me good feelings. <laughs> what the hell? Yep, private property. That's a shame too, because I think that lake or that pond is down that way. Okay, so I was on my way home and I saw another pull-in, and this is a, it's basically a field, but it's another wildlife habitat project. Um, looks like you can camp here. Doesn't look like anybody is. It has the forestry marker on it. I mean, it's a lot of tall grass. There's not really any established site here, I don't think. But if you backed in, didn't have a fire, I'd say you could, you could probably camp here. Beautiful. I 
relatively untouched. All right, y'all, I'm headed home. That was a great day of discovery, like I said before. And I have the habit recently of not closing out videos. So I just wanted to thank you all for watching. If this kind of thing interests you, I'll, like I said, I'll probably be doing this quite often until I can just find enough spots to, you know, see different places. But um, get out there, explore, and we will see you later. Peace.